So uh, Ucapkan terima kasih kepada Tuan Rizal kerana join lagi sekali untuk Dan kali yang kedua kan <laughs> pagi ni Tuan Rizal Okay uh, So tajuk uh, untuk kali ni uh, saya minta uh, Kumpulan yang nak present ni uh, boleh teruskan Okay untuk share uh, PowerPoint Share slide Siapa nak kerja dulu? Saya. Okay. Okay, share, share. Share slide. Uh, Dia nampak tak? Nampak tak? Okay, okay, okay. Nampak, nampak. Boleh, boleh mula? Good morning to our moderator Encik Wan Ahmad, Ahmad Faizat and our panel Encik Ahmad Encik Muhammad Rizal Fridaus, Fridaus bin Wahid um, First, let me introduce myself My name is Zuhan Rizal, anak perempuan Zul Ahami My metric number 1171 and also introduce my group members um, Muhammad Azamuddin, nombor metrik 1172 Muhammad Amir Ahmad, nombor metrik 1173 uh, Desmond, nombor metrik 1174 um, Today, we will to talk about our project 2 DCC 6203 um, Civil Engineering Project 2 Our title for this project is Smart Water Meter This is our content of our project. First, introduction, problem statement, objective of the project, methodology, scope of project, result analysis, carta gan, eh, gan chat, and last conclusion. Introduction. Water bill are redirected from water bill. The amount one must pay to use water and sewage each month. Normally, water and sewage is provided by municipalities, but but this is not always in case. Um, Internet of Things or IoT has provided promising opportunities to create powerful industrial and domestic application. Main application is smart water metering. Water is most precious resource that must be used. Responsible information about the usage of water can reduce the water wastage and will help in water management. Uh, the big data project to serve challenge at the organizational level by monitoring monitoring, measuring, and managing in the better way. Um, we choose this project because to fulfill the term of this pro this year project, which is IR 4.0. So we have include IoT and big data element in our project. Um, next problem statement. Uh, a smart water meter is a normal water meter linked to, to a device that allow continuous electronic re electronic reading and display of our water consumption. It negates the need to manually read the meter down. Once the information is available as an electronic signal, it can be tempered, locked and Proceed like a, a like any other signal. Mobile phone technologies, wireless modem, the 
the internet and other data this data distribution technologies make it possible to bring the signal redial to a computer hence the water meter can also be labeled a water meter on your desktop then the water meter make make it easy for user to check check the monthly bill by just using the smart meter Besides that, more efficient what meter reading uh, minimize and fully eliminate the need to either manual, manually read the meter which requires physical access to the meter and to format the end user conduct the reading and report the consumption. Um, we create this water meter to make it easy easier for users to use this tool um, such as the LAP, such as LAP no need to send the officer to come from house to house to check the monthly bill monthly water meter bill at home um, therefore the smart water meter user only use smartphone to check the monthly bill that need to be paid um, as we know the issues of the COVID-19 pandemic is now spend, spend reading so this situation is very dangerous to all parties such as working officer who want to take monthly water reading that are uh, exposed to virus dangerous so we 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 correct project the is very useful because it is easy to use only user who access the website to provide to provide the the get monthly bill reading next mm. Objective of the project. Objective one, to design a smart water meter able to transmit data. Objective two, to develop system for sending, receive and showing data. Objective three, to evaluate accuracy of transmitter. Next. Um... That's all from me. Next, I will pass to I will pass the presentation to second pre presenter. Uh, on mic dulu. On mic dulu, Azamudin. <laughs> sorry, sorry, minta maaf. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, for our scope of the project, uh, our product, Smart Water Meter, is designed to help the, ease the workload of government servant. Uh, we can, uh, more specifically, who persons come and check on water meter in each house. So, it can reduce the servant government and save the money of the country. Next. Our smart water meter will be able to transmit real-time data so that the water company can track the usage and give up bill without going to every house. Next, next our scope, uh, this product must be developed further so that it can function better and serve the purpose of reducing workload better. And the last for scope of project, uh, our our project now is aimed to reading data and transmit the dat data to our website like uh, Tinger.io so that the data can be shown online which will be developed more later. Next. So I will pass. Oh, no. Okay. For our methodology, uh, we have three phases. Uh, the first one, 
uh, the first one is we start the project with we collect the idea and concept and then uh, we get the problem statement and we explain uh, we explain our problem statement to our product and then we get the literature review so we can see uh, this pro uh, this product can put to where we want and and next uh, next product design uh, product design we design the smart water metering like our product so we use the uh, few components to design a eh, <coughs> few components to design the smart water metering next uh, the phase two we build the product uh when we uh when when we on this this step this step uh we get the necessary materials next we build a project based on design combine the transmitter with water meter soldering the components and last we build the prototype and the last phase is we we do it the product testing how we do it uh and the after we do it, the product testing, we get the data analysis. Like, uh, we get from 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 our product to get uh, per measure in one liter to five liter water. And the last, we get the conclusion and recommendation, and our mini project is submit. Next. Now I will pass my turn to my friends. Uh, this man. Thank you. This is the this is material that we use in our project. Um, not MCU is a low cost open source IoT platform. Not MCU can be power through the USB port. Water flow sensor, water flow sensor is basically used the used to take a note of how much how much water has been transferred from one area to to the others. Used in wide variety of area. Micro USB cable is a mineralized version of of the universal serial bus USB the first develop developed for connecting compact and mobile device to water meter LCD a liquid crystal display LCD is a flat panel display or other electronically modu modulate of op optic device that use the the light modulating properties of liquid crystal combined with polarized. Next, breadboard. Breadboard is construction based for prototype of smart water meter. A breadboard is used used to build and test secret bus before finalizing any secret design. Jumper cable. A jump. A jump wire is an electric electrical wire, or or of them in the in the cable with a connector and pin at uh, each end, which is normally used to connect interconnect connected the component of a breadboard or other prototype of water meter. Hmm. Uh, that's all. Oh. Next, I will continue with phase two, which is the development of our project. Uh, for before de we develop our project, we did the circuit which is connected, uh, like that that you can see here. Uh, it shows that which uh which wire is supposed to be connected to which wire. All right. Um, as we, I had shown just now, the red cable. <coughs> 
uh, the red cable, it represents the input, while the yellow cable represents the output, and the black one is ground. The red, uh, red cable represents input, black cable represents output in this, uh, because we didn't have the exact colors of the wire, so we uh, use other colors. So the output wire is connected to D2 pin, while the ground wire is connected to ground, and the input wire is connected to the 3.3 volt pin, where the it is the power supply for the sensor. After we have connected our uh, hardware, we, need, we needed to develop our software, which we use Arduino IDE. As you can see here, we included a few things, which is uh, for the website to work, which is Tinger.io. And so we included the Wi-Fi name as also the password and also some credentials. The credentials mainly uh, function to help transfer the sort of like a key for us to transfer the data from our sensor to the website. And then below is it's just uh, some coding for the for the node MCU to read what is happening with the sensor. After we've done the software and uploaded it into our node MCU, we needed to set up our website. So the website of our choice is Tinger.io. So we need to go to Tinger.io, then we need to sign up and log in. After we've done that, we needed to add our device so that it can be recognized. We press add device and then it comes out these device details. So we just fill in these details. As you can see, there's a uh, column and there's a row that says device credentials. So uh, I've modified that device credentials and put it inside our coding so it can only read from this node MCU. And after we've saved the device, we can see that in number four, it states that the device is connected and it's trans it is transmitting uh, real-time data. After we have set up the device, we just go to the dashboard, we set up some gauges, uh, which we just set up what we uh, needed to know, such as flow rate and also total flow, and we tested our device afterwards. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Now I'll pass it to Amiro. Amiro, next. Uh, it's my next slide, huh? Ah, next slide. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, no. Uh, for the phase three, we do the product testing. The product testing, we do the testing product. Uh, with, uh, with our our team. Uh, we do. Uh, we do this testing for validate the data, and then. We test the not MCU for whether it, it can transmit the data from water flow sensor to website. And another another step is we get the data analysis. We do some measurement of water into the water flow sensor to get some readings and compare with the reading in the website. We repeat three times a reading for one liter per measure up to five liter to get an average data. Next. Uh, for comparison of smart water meter with conventional water meter, uh, for our uh, smart water meter, you can see the comparison to conventional water meter. Uh, smart, our smart water meter can detect water flow, and conventional water meter, uh, they detect the water flow. Uh, before that, I say conventional water meter, example like I get from, from Google is uh, like, Lesson technology. They they do the smart water meter for detect water flow. Ah, so, uh, our smart water meter use not MCU to transfer the data to Tinger IO website, and conventional water meter do the require someone to read the water reading. Smart water meter. Our smart water meter reduce manpower and get accurate bill readings and conventional does not transmit data and needs to be read. And the last for our smart water meter, uh, inexpensive, inexpensive for Malaysian industry to practice and for conventional, do not provide the same function. Next. Okay. Uh, 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Moderator and our panel, Encik Muhammad Rizal Fidaus. Okay, next I will be presenting about our data analysis. Uh, the way we do uh, our data analysis to get the first we done five reading which is for 1000 ml, 2000, 3000, 4000 and 5000 ml. For each reading we, we took three sample. Uh, from the result analysis here can show about the accuracy and precision about our data. Uh, as the sample, we pour 1,000 milliliter water into the prototype and the reading first uh, as the example, we show the reading is 1479. Uh, so, this is not about accurate, but the data is precise. Uh, okay, next. This minutes. Okay. Next is our gun chart. Uh, this is project activities of our group team. First, we do observation, and next, we do planning work progress. Next, we do the project research. Next is identify material, and then we do design project. Then we develop and testing and finally we project done our project complement okay this one next okay for the conclusion our group has achieved the objective that we had stated in the beginning of the project there are many problems that occurred during conducting the task which include on deciding components that are suitable to use for our smart water meter as a result, we were able to show our data in the gun chat. We hope the project can be developed more as it saves time and it is able to replace the old water meter. Okay, that's all. Uh, next, we would like to show a demonstration of our project if possible. Video. Yeah. So as you can see, that we have uh, set our prototype there. That's the inlet valve, and then that's the sensor in the middle, where the no MCU is placed in the protective case, along with the power supply, which is a power bank. So the water will flow in from the inlet valve from um, a aquarium pump, and then the sensor will read how much water is flowing through, and send the real time data to the website that we had set up by the no MCU. And then that's the gauge that we have set up in the website and if, when the water flow through, it will show in the gauge. That's all from us. Thank you. Okay, thank you for this note. And for question and answer session. Oh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> animation. Okay, uh, I invite uh, Tourism to start. All right, thank you. Okay, first of all, do you want me to um, question you in English or Bahasa? Uh, which is, whichever is convenient. Ah. Whichever is convenient. Okay, that's right. That's the understand. <laughs> okay. But we can answer in okay. Bahasa. Yeah, for sure, yes. No problem. <laughs> okay, you can use a mix also. Okay, uh, can you back to the uh, slide? Uh, your pour water, I mean, the title is pour water, isn't it? Slide, results, or analysis. Oh, result analysis. Yes. The samples that you've taken. Okay. Just that. Uh, is it this one? Wait. Uh, no, I can't yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. Correct. So, can we explain again? 
about the result over there? Anyone right, uh, can we did a few tests. Uh, we did a mm -hmm. few tests. We did one liter, two liter, three liter, and four liter and five liter mm -hmm. to get a, to get, determine whether it can hold so much uh, ongoing liters. And then we, right. for each for each reading, we did three times. We repeated three times to get an average mm -hmm. result. Mm -hmm. So as you can down there, it states that for mm -hmm. to calculate accuracy, the average reading obtained uh, is minus by five hundred and fifty milliliter. This is because uh, mm -hmm. when we tested, there was air bubbles in the piping, so we had to eliminate that error. Okay. All right. After we've eliminated the air bubbles, we divided by how much water we poured initially, and then we get our uh, accuracy. So, mm -hmm. as you can see in the calculation there, uh, for each accuracy, we get around uh, 90 something percent, so it's quite accurate and precise. <laughs> Because uh, for okay. 550 milliliter, I uh, we also mm -hmm. took uh, an assumption. It we we couldn't make sure that the air bubble stayed 550 milliliter, but it was a safe assumption. Okay, for reading number one for 1000 ml, 1479. Is it a 1479? Is it uh in ml? Yeah, it's in ml. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mm. Okay. Clear. Right. Thank you. Uh, okay. Any more questions? Yes. Okay. Okay. Second question. Uh, what is the element you uh, civil engineering element that you put in your uh, project? So uh, for our project, we we mainly focus on uh, water hydrology. Okay, which part is water hydrology? Uh, we actually uh, wanted to focus on NRW. Okay, not renewable water. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, explain more. Explain more. Need more. Explain more. Okay, uh, yeah. for NRW, uh, the scope was actually just too big and we couldn't continue, but we could we could uh, help pro uh, make easy the life of the workers, which is to transmit the data to IoT. Okay. How it relates to your project, NRW relates to your uh, uh, products, I mean, okay. how? So How if, it relates to your uh, right now in Malaysia, we could we can't always ac accurately determine NRW. But with this system, we have our real time data, which the LAP for for instances, they can real they can see the data real time, so they know how much water are they giving, but and how much water are we actually receiving, so they can actually get a tally and then determine whether this area is leaking water, and then they can go fix it. Okay, anyone else? From the others? No. Uh, Azamuddin, any question, uh, Azamuddin? No? Do you want to add up any something uh, about uh, Desmond Chang? Top up, top up your friend's answer. I think yes. It's, it's, uh, it's, pardon? Ah, ada apa sampai? Saya rasa projek projek kami ni apa mengurangkan tenaga kerja seperti uh, contoh di Perak, uh, lembat di Perak. So tak uh, tak ada pekerjaan uh, seperti orang datang mengambil mengambil uh, apa? B. So kita mudahkan lebih mudahkan antar data melalui terus ke center untuk beri terus give out the bill to each house. That's all. Itu je. Itu je tuan. Okay. Uh, satu lagi saya nak tanya lah. Okay. Ha. Apa, kepunca, apa ni punca berlakunya NRW ni? Anyone can boleh jawab ke? Amirul ke? 
macam mana boleh berlaku je NRW ni? Di mana ke berlakunya NRW ni normally? Saya jawab boleh? Ah boleh, tak ada masalah. NRW ni um, selalunya berlaku dekat apa ni dekat macam form macam pipe bocor tu kan. Apa lepas tu berlaku kecurian air semua tanpa pengetahuan. Jadi okay. um, macam penduduk tu tak tahu. Tiba-tiba bil dia naik sebab berlakunya NRW ni. Dia tak tahu okay. pun yang ada kecurian air apa semua. Okey. Uh, Okey. Dalam literature review, in your literature review, ada tak you dapatkan data berkaitan NRW di kawasan tu ataupun di area uh, mana-mana dekat Perak ke you kan, you buat dekat Perak ke apa ke, you ada tak data tu NRW? Ada ada cari tak <laughs> untuk literature review? Uh, because our project is not actually to focus on NRW, our our project is actually to focus on transmitting the data so we didn't include the NRW data in our literature review but we do have the data. Oh you do have the data, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, you ada tanya tak uh, dapat any acknowledgement berkaitan dengan you punya produk ni daripada LAP? Okay. Ada? Kami ada kami ada cadangan nak buat questionnya lepas tu hmm. nak pergi LAP nak minta pendapat daripada pihak LAP okay. tapi tapi tak bagi kesempatan. Tapi, <laughs> tak bagi kesempatan. Tak, tak ada masa tuan okay. sebab apa ha. sekarang masa macam kalau ikutkan kami nak minta daripada awal tapi bila dah jadi uh, pandemik hmm. ni so jadi macam setak lah lagi pun kami pun duduk pun semua asing kadang ada yang balik kampung hmm. ada apa so susah lah tuan hmm. Okay So you buat uh, projek ni macam mana? Macam mana? Um. How you divided your task? Macam Kami dah mula projek ni macam sekian kata lagi tu kan Cuma okay. sample ni macam nak bagi finishing Bagi hmm. habis Okey. Yang buat hasil ni cuma dapatkan data je tuan Itu yang bau macam okay. yang projek uh, siap memang dah siap dah Okey. Okay. Uh, kos untuk projek ni berapa? Kau buat Kos untuk buat satu projek hmm. ni ya. Dalam Untuk prototype saja Bawah seratus lah sebab No MCU dalam dalam RM40 macam tu Lepas tu okay. Water flow sensor dalam RM20 uh, Cost total bawah RM100 macam tu Oh bawah RM100 okay. Just prototype okay, good. Uh, Saya conclusion ni yang saya boleh buat Okay uh, Before that uh, Pasal coding, you buat sendiri ke coding atau you Hire someone To do coding Uh, coding saya buat sendiri, saya refer to website oh. And also uh, oh. expertise Expertise from industry or <laughs> your click juga? Uh, no, electrical engineer, friend of uh, oh, parents Okay That's a good mm -hmm. Okay So, uh, my conclusion is uh, So far your product for in diploma benchmarking is a good lah, okay and then uh, about the appearance, just prototype tu you kena tengok lah let's say you want to do a, a really punya product yang betul-betul product you make sure that because it's a water meter kalau dekat housing kita akan letak di luar di sini, okay now dia kita pun ada rumah, banyak lagi rumah-rumah yang kampung-kampung masih tak ada lagi yang water meter bertutup just exposed to the environment, di sini so your product is use LCD, okay and then USB cable and so on about devices and everything so to ensure that the the product itself tak kena curi ke tak akan rosak ke so that's a very important jugalah kalau kita punya motor meter di conventional punya di luar dia iron steel tu jenis yang yeah, you know that kan so kalau orang nak pecah pun nak tengok pun 
caralah kita berlaku, kita dengar berlaku orang curi ke, orang pecah ke benda tu because you punya produk ni uh, memang bagus cuma dia punya appearance tu you kena uh, kalau you betul-betul untuk commercialize it atau nak dapatkan pandangan sebelum daripada LAP you kena betulkan dulu lah appearance tu supaya dia dapat satu bentuk yang uh, agak uh, safety lah okay okay so this is uh, my uh, ni lah tips lah so far is a good lah okay but the real time sekarang pun kita memang pakai untuk dapatkan data mostly memang kita nak real time punya data okay sebab Uh, berkaitan dengan situation sekarang kalau saya pun dekat saya kerja dengan GPS pun di IT pun kita nak real time data about the river flows about the height of the river flooding and everything kita nak real data time okay so it's very important lah so you punya product is quite good juga cuma tu je lah tambahkan sikit yang cakap tadi kalau you betul-betul nak commercialize the appearance of your product tu you kena ni okay so okay that's it tu saja. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Good. All right. Thank you for the okay, thank you. session. Okay, thank you. We can turn off now. So, nanti Tuan Reza boleh masuk balik lah, join semula lah. Uh, Tuan Reza, okay. 10 minutes lah. Okay, Tuan Reza. All right. Okay, thank okay, you all. Thank you. Okay, thank, okay, you, thank, you, thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you, gang. Ah, first, Nandu, Misha.